Ready to come to one? Ready to cue Bob? Come to one and cue Bob. And here we are, standing in the center of where it all happens. This is the control room I'm standing in for our television program, Focus Delaware. We thought you'd like to have a, a look into what makes it all go. And I find this fascinating. I'm not very technically inclined, and there's a lot of buttons and gadgets and lights here, and perhaps we can get a little enlightenment on exactly what's going on here. First, I'd like to introduce you to Kim Shelley, who is our talented director, who's uh, seated here. Kim, how are you? Pretty good, Bob. Kim, are you busy, or do you have some time to talk? Oh, we have a little bit of time to talk this evening, Bob. Not much, though. Not much. Never uh, much. Kim, uh, I'm looking at what you tell me is called a um, video board. Um, yeah. Can you explain the operation of it and what your responsibilities are? All these little buttons here, when I push them, they change camera shots, like I just did right there. Shows a close-up. And I'll cut back to camera two, which is on the wide shot of the control room. Right here is my mic, and I talk to the cameraman through uh, this mic. And right here, this mic on my headset here, I talk to the floor director, Dick Keen, and assistant floor director, Mark Bowen. And what are the other parts of this um, control board doing, or what are they for? Well, right over here is uh, Eddie. He's operating audio, and that uh, controls like the mix of the uh, band, and um, also your mic that's on right now. Back here is uh, our tape machines and our tape operator right here, Steve Turnberger. Um, Eddie, uh, you're the audio man. Uh, what do your responsibilities entail? Okay, well, every microphone out in the studio and, uh, well, of course, in here has a corresponding knob or whatever, and uh, the band has to be blended together in order to sound, uh, sound right over the air. and. Uh, of course, your mics have to be open and closed at the proper time, or it uh, you come up with a m very muddy sound. So it's it, you got to keep on top of it. What type of problems uh, will occasionally crop up from time to time? Oh, you'll have cords uh, cords going bad. You'll have mics that are very sensitive to being pounded, such as this. And uh, <laughs> there's there's quite a few problems that you have to keep on top of. Well, uh, you know, uh, we have over here another gentleman by the name of. What is your name again? Uh, <laughs> Steve Turnberger. I know I like my own. Ah, yes. <laughs> Steve, uh, how are you doing over there? Very good. How are you doing tonight, Bob? Fine. What's your uh, area of responsibility over there? My area, this is what we call a character generator, and it brings up all the things, that, like on the Segway shots, you'll see next up, Bob is going to be dancing or singing or whatever you're going to be doing. And I also run the videotapes whenever we have a commercial breakaway or a tape already queued up for a video that we already did during the week. Kim cues me and I roll it over the air. Okay, why don't you show him a title, uh, Steve? It'll appear on your screen. There you go. There that you is a title. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it all comes out of this box right here. Character generator. Okay, you can take that down, Steve. Well, th this is quite a team that we've assembled here, and it's been a pleasure working with all of you, and I've enjoyed it, and I've learned an awful lot about television, just being involved in the show since its inception three months ago. But uh, I guess that's it. We're getting a uh, sign that... Uh, we're getting a sign, oh, we're getting a sign we have some more time to go, good. Well, let me ask you a question. In connection with taping these shows, um, is there a problem ever that we have in connection with, how would that go if we wanted to tape a show for promotional purposes or whatever, how would that work? Well, we just bring in a band or whoever you want to tape and uh, come in here, utilize the studio. We set up uh, the mics and uh, et cetera and the lights and uh, come in and set up everything in the control room and. Uh, Put it on videotape uh, it's, right here. It's uh, easier said than done. <laughs> uh, how much um, before the show do you come in here to start setting up, and what do you have to do to get ready for a show? Well, we usually come in here about um, 5 o'clock or so. But the original, the, the planning of the program doesn't start, or starts on uh, Friday, as you well know. <laughs> we'll, we'll start planning tomorrow for next week's show. I can say I know we'll sit down and we'll write a script of the show. Uh, we're at least months in advance uh, writing scripts now and we'll be involved with various entities, timing them, getting together with coordinating the various segments in order to put a fast-paced show on for you that really cross-sections what Delaware has away in the offer of talent. I think right now we're coming to an end. We've gotten the, the close-off sign from Dick, our floor director. So now let's um, go to commercial. After commercial, I think uh, we'll have a couple selections by some guy named Bob Weiner who's going to sing a couple songs, I think. Oh, no. Not him again. <laughs> Roll segue. Okay, ready music. Music okay.
Locust, Delaware will return after these messages.